Oh, Jesus. Hey, welcome my kid, TT. Okay, so part two, this is part two of our Q&A. I know we cut it off on part one because it felt like it was getting long. And then I started editing part two and I was like, wait a minute, it's not that long. But apparently we thought we were done, but there were more questions. Yeah, yeah, so, I think the part two is also what, like eight, nine minutes long. Mm -hmm. so. so, if you guys watch part one, thanks. Hope you like part two. Yeah, peace out. Yeah, um, okay, so do you see yourselves as an interracial couple or an inter ethnic couple since you both are same skin color? Ooh, see, there it is. Are we interracial or are we inter-ethnic? Inter Here in the States, I think we'd be considered interracial, but for me, I like to think we have this intercultural because I think there's a lot of culture there for me, how I, who I am as a black American yeah. or African American, if you prefer that, if, you, if that's your preference, hmm. then yeah. But I think if you're thinking of just like race, then here they would also say we were an interracial couple. Yeah. 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 I mean, because I guess yeah, we are. Yeah. But I like to think of it, we're blending cultures. Yeah. And but, so, and not only that, and I, 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 my dad was asking the other day, like, what do you feel like makes your relationship a little bit different than like my siblings? So for reference, all of my siblings are in a interracial relationship mm -hmm. all everyone's from a different background um but i was telling him you know ani Ket's the only one that's not american yeah. like he's not native of america so i told him that's that's the thing that makes it a little bit different like in regards to my experience with my siblings it's like okay but did you have to go through the green card process <laughs> like like we there there's a lot that we had to do just because of you know his status here in the united states so um there's that yep. all right the next question someone asked if we believe in god so that's like i think they were asking specifically about what's our religion uh, which i don't know if i'm loud about it but i felt like maybe people knew what our religion was but I'm Christian. And yeah. I, I mean, I was born Hindu, but I'm a Christian now, so yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think that's another conversation. Yeah. I think because a lot of people are curious to know, like someone the other day, they said they didn't realize you were Christian. And then they were like, well, how long has he been Christian? Has he been Christian? And I said, well, before we were dating, before we were even in a relationship, I don't know if he truly identified with what, but um on our first one of our first few dates he just he went with me to church so <laughs> which i think is still crazy we weren't we weren't even in a relationship and you met my family because we went to church yeah yeah but um i don't know that's a long conversation yeah yeah it's, it's a long conversation honestly. but he is christian yeah and before you accuse me i did not uh make him convert to christianity <laughs> so that's a long conversation. Yeah. Should we talk about it in another video? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Uh -huh. All right, guys. So then I guess that means in the next video, we're going to have to have that conversation because I don't mind talking about it. But I think um, everyone will have their own opinion and that's okay. All right. The next question was, what are your favorite traditions to celebrate based on your ethnicity? Uh, which of mine do you like? Um, I think I would say, I guess Thanksgiving is something that I have started to, I guess, enjoy. Mm -hmm. And also the Christmas, uh, I guess Christmas is something that I really yeah. like enjoy. Yeah. I, I, I just like the vibe, I guess. The yeah. Christmas tree um, and, you know, I guess family's meeting, then it being like cold outside. Are you, it's you, just you like eating? Vibe. It's a, it's a white. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I definitely have, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I think I've started to like a proper soul food. Ah! Uh, like You like proper soul food. Yeah, I mean. Guys, he didn't like soul food be, for a long time. Yeah, it has to be someone, cooked by someone who 
know what they're doing, I guess. Uh, oh, I didn't care! <laughs> it has to be a good soul food. I, only then, you know, I'd eat some, but again, it depends on, like, I'm, I'm very picky with, like, what all I'll eat, uh, because I, yeah, I haven't, like, we, I haven't grown up eating that, that, that food, so, sometimes some of the stuff like i'm like oh maybe <laughs> that's that's not for me so yeah uh but yeah in general i guess yeah soul food yeah that's something that i look forward to especially on um like christmas and thanksgiving so i think my answer is going to be typical yeah what diwali <laughs> it's so typical i don't mean to be typical but here's the thing here's what i noticed so like right so where we live and where we work is like i'm gonna say it's 60 to 70 percent Indian. So we live in neighborhoods. All the neighborhoods around us have like a very large Indian population. So, um, and they all have different religions, backgrounds, etc. And the one thing that I do love about Diwali is like, one, because if they're being such a big community here, there's like big events and stuff, or like, um, for example, there's people of different religions and I don't even think they think of it as a religious thing, but they do like truly define it as something that's like a part of their culture. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like even like Christians that I worked with or like other individuals, or other backgrounds, like I know some people, even Muslim that like have like recognized it or kind of been a part of like some of the festivities that are happening around town in regards to it because yeah. it's just such a communal thing mm -hmm. and I think that's what I like about it. It'd be interested to experience what that looks like in India mm -hmm. but like yeah. even from what I experience here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not too different. Uh, it's like people usually dress up but I think in India it's like they have they celebrate it for five days and it's like a lot of uh, fireworks everywhere. Mm -hmm. so. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like Christmas, but it, yeah, over here it might be for like a day or two max. Uh, or like, I think based on my experience, it's only like a one day thing where mm. people just, you know, gather and celebrate. Uh, but in India, yeah, it's kind of like Christmas where, you know, uh, people like decorate their houses. Mm -hmm. It's like lights everywhere. Um, but yeah, it, it's more like colorful or like more bright I would say. Thanks again for watching guys. Like thank you guys for the questions. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following and supporting guys. Like it, it means a lot that you're interested in our story. So I guess until next time. Uh bye bye. <laughs> um bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> How do you say? Bye. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, peace out. My child goes, peace out.